Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based intelligence ambulance monitoring and traffic control system. So in this project mainly we have the three sections. One is hospital section, the laptop along with the Zigbee module. Uh, another is uh, ambulance section which has a Zigbee module along with heart rate sensor and temperature sensor and LCD monitoring. And the third section is a traffic signal section which has the two RFID readers. Coming to the hospital section, continuously the system at the hospital system uh, system consists of a monitoring of application which will continuously feed the data from the ambulance. The data consists of ambulance phone number, ambulance details along with patient health parameters like heartbeat and temperature. Through this Zigbee technology, the data will be received at the receiver section and through this USB to TTL converter, we are going to get the same data into the laptop. So means the person who is in the lab, uh, hospital is continuously monitoring the details whenever the ambulance entering into this region of this hospital means there is a communication distance range is there around 1.5 kilometers in real time we can go up to 3 to 4 kilometers. So when this ambulance entering into this region of this hospital then the transmitted data will be received by this module. So when it crosses over next hospital next hospital like that it keep on sending the data from ambulance to the hospitals. And from the hospital, the person who is monitoring over there by seeing the patient parameters, he can accept or reject means the so-called doctor's facility is there can handle the patient, then he can accept that. Otherwise, they are unable to handle the patient, then they will reject from the laptop only and that message will be displayed on this ambulance section on the LCD so that the driver came to know that whether he should go to this respective hospital or keep on moving so that no need of waste of any time by reach after reaching the hospital and if the doctor reject then I can go to the another hospital. So before going to the hospital only the hospital can send a message to this ambulance whether we can take over the patient or not and while moving then this RFID will be present with the ambulance. So at the entrance of the signal region only this RFID reader will detect, detect this RFID card and that will be stored already in the database of this card is belongs to the ambulance. Then the system will on the green lights for this signals till the vehicle passes. So the vehicle cross the signal region will be identify the another exit RFID reader so that when the vehicle enters into the signal region then automatically it will turn into the green till the vehicle crosses the signal region till that only the green light will be there so that there is no stop signal for the ambulance till it reaches the uh, accepted hospital. So here the major components is ambulance section, heartbeat sensor, temperature sensor, Zigbee module or uh, Arduino Nano board along with this uh, breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which we are getting from this adapter and uh, this LCD screen to monitor the health parameters and reject and accept status on this LCD. Coming to the signal section, two RFID readers along with signal LEDs are interfaced to the nano board and here also we are using the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which is getting from this adapter. And coming to the hospital section, Zigbee module interfaced to this PL2303 module so which is easy to convert the transistor data to the USB data as we are communicating with the Zigbee so which is a TTL logic and our laptop can't understand the TTL logic that's why we need to convert the TTL logic to the USB logic okay so let us see the demonstration so first of all we need to install the related applications in your laptop so these are the applications which we have provided in the rare file so extract them there we get the these two files one is PL2303 ok install this application so by installation it may ask you for uh, ask you for update of the .NET framework you can just update that ok on successful installation at the end of the installation the system will ask you to insert the USB to TTL converter port and after installation of that it will make me ask for restart don't restart then so insert this any one of the USB slots ok after inserting click on continue so then don't restart no I will restart later select that so after successful installation of this to get the IP address of this so now right click on this PC go to more options there go to manage
so there go to the device manager and there we get the ports so you can see the ports okay expand that okay one once we expansion of that then we'll get the pl2303 phase out so when we getting this error right click on this update driver browse my computer let me pick from the list then we need to select the 2008 version okay and install close now we are getting the com number right see the error was gone and we will get the com number as com4 remember that com4 for prolific usb to serial converter that is a com4 next open this hyperterminal folder so once settings will be done initially only next time onwards it will directly entering into the application parts right so if it is asked for any land phone number like that you can just select any random numbers land phone like india or 040 like that click on okay 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 then it will go to this directly then here we can type any name so type any name okay and then the com number com4 as we got it from the device manager type any name com number selection properly and then restore defaults right now click on okay now successfully we completed the laptop part now we can on the power supply to this kits okay and welcome message on this ambulance section as well as on the power supply to this signal section so in the hospital section as the ambulance is in region of the hospital that's why systems keep on sending the messages when we place the finger over there we can get the heart rate and temperature of the person continuously and the same data is continuously fed to the laptop as the both are in same region okay so for every data transmission we can see the light blinking on the usb to tl converter so it's continuously feeding and you also come into the signal section it is randomly uh, providing the green time signal for the vehicles 4 seconds for the red light and 1 to 2 seconds 2 seconds for the green light switching normally so whenever the vehicle is coming in this region then the rfid reader will detect that okay the light will blinks normally and now see when the green light comes to the picture then it will turn to the green light so till the vehicle passes this next rfid reader means when is the region completes at the end they did has to detect that at the signal section till that the green light will be present means there is no stop signal for the ambulance as an emergency gateway for purpose and whenever the vehicle passes over there then again it will enter into the normal mode right now again it's in normal timer based mode this is a continuous process till the so called accept and reject will be done so now for example here we are continuously feeding that so some hospital is accepting the data then if say send a then we can see on this lcd request accepted from so called hospital so that he can go to the so called hospital and the patient will be attended for safety purpose so he also we receive the message of thank you for accepting we are on the way okay and the next if reject was done then request rejected from the so called hospital okay right so in this manner we are going to provide the safety and security system for ambulance at the signal section as well as safety for the patients in order to uh, time safe from the hospital communication right